Hello, and thank you for tuning in. This video is going to be a side-by-side -side comparison of my stock and my modified Ruby's 1974 The Texas Chainsaw Massacre Killing Masks. I hope you enjoy the video, and thank you for watching. So this is a front side scan of the stock mask. As you can see, the stitching in the forehead has been molded into the sculpt and painted in with paint. And the mouth still has the teeth, the lips, and the support bar is molded into the sculpt and painted in with silver paint. And this is a front side scan of the modified mask. I cut out the head wound in the fake stitching and stitched it back up with real metal stitching. I looked at a Connor DeLess piece to see exactly how the stitching went and did my best to mimic it. And then I cut out the mouth, the fake support bar, and the teeth, put in a coat hanger support bar, and stitched it back up with metal stitching as well. And here's a front side scan of both masks side by side so you can get an idea of the differences. And here's a side view of both masks. On the stock mask, they had fake leather stitching and a piece of latex holding both of the bottom pieces together, painted flesh color. On the modified mask, you'll notice that I cut out the piece of flesh-colored latex, painted over the fake stitching, and added my own real stitching. And those are pretty much all the mods that I made to my 1974 Leatherface Texas Chainsaw Massacre Ruby's Killing Mask. I still might add fake eyelashes to the modded one, but I'm pretty satisfied with how it looks as it is. I'll leave a link at the end of this video to the video of me modding the mask. Hopefully this will help some people out there decide whether they want to leave the mask stock or mod it out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.